Admiral Gorshkov class, also known as Project 22350, is the Russian Navy's newest class of frigate. Russian Navy plans to manufacture as many as 15 of the warships, but the number could swell up to 30. The lead ship of the class, Admiral Gorshkov, was commissioned on the 28th of July, 2018. Because of a number of issues, the induction of the first ship was delayed from the initially planned date of November 2016. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes the capabilities of Admiral Gorshkov class of Russian Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Admiral Gorshkov class has a length of 120 meters. To give viewers a perspective, it is the same as the length of a football field. The warship has been designed with stealth in mind and the external contours are laid out in such a way that they reflect the radar signal away from the emitting source, thereby reducing the RCS radar cross section. The warships of the class displace around 5,400 tons when fully loaded. The Admiral Gorshkov warships will have a speed of 29.5 knots or 54.6 kilometers per hour or 33.9 miles per hour and a range of 4,850 nautical miles or 8,980 kilometers which is 5,580 miles. The range is the same as the American Arleigh Burke class destroyers which are much larger displacing around 9,000 tons. Russia's new frigates are equipped with state-of-the-art sensors that will provide excellent situational awareness. These include FERC-4 5P-27 radar and Parliament 5P-20K-4 active phased array radars, a monolith 34K-1 surface search radar, a Puma 5P-10 main artillery radar and fire control system, three PAL N radars. Apart from these, a Zarya M sonar and Vignetka Toda Ray sonar system is present. Prosvet M electronic warfare suite is available for electronic warfare. The Admiral Gorshkov class is designed as multi role warships capable of carrying out air defense, anti surface warfare, and anti submarine warfare. It's actually the most heavily armed frigate in the world as the design has accommodated a lot of options including 48 VLS cells. The following weapon systems are deployed in the warship. For anti-surface role, 16, that's 2 times 8, UKSK VLS cells are dedicated. They'll carry P-800 Onyx and or caliber missiles. P-800 has 600 km engagement range and can travel at speed of Mach 2.5. It has a 250 kg high explosive warhead. The anti-ship missile variant of caliber family of missiles has a range of 300 km and flies at a speed of Mach 3. It carries a 500 kg warhead. Both of these missiles being supersonic missiles will be hard to defend against even for the best American or NATO warship and because of high kinetic energy, a single hit from these missiles could cripple a warship. There are multiple gun systems too. For air defense role, 32 VLS cells are committed. These will be equipped with air defense missiles meant to intercept incoming missiles and knock out enemy fighter and bombers. A mix of short and long-range interceptor missiles will be carried. These are basically derived from the S-350 and S-400 systems. This includes different variants of 9M96 missile as well as 9M100 missile. 
Depending on the variant, 9M96 can shoot down different types of airborne threats at a range of 75 miles or 120 kilometers and up to an altitude of 35,000 meters. 9M100 is short-range infrared-guided missile with a 15-kilometer range. Two Palish close-in weapon system is present. The system consists of dual gun and missile launcher. The gun has an effective range of 4 kilometers, whereas the missiles have a range of 10 kilometers. With these systems working in conjunction, the warship will have a multi-layered air defense system. For anti-submarine warfare, the warships will have 330 mm torpedo tubes for launching torpedoes and a rear hangar that will be able to accommodate an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. Admiral Gorshkov class demonstrates the excellent engineering prowess of Russian naval planner. They've designed a class which punches much above its weight. In a battle, the Admiral Gorshkov class warships could take out much larger adversaries due to the presence of potent anti-ship missiles. For example, America's main anti-ship missile, Harpoon, can hit targets at a maximum distance of 80 miles or 130 kilometers. The AGM-158C LRASM long-range anti-ship missile, which is a stopgap solution to Harpoon and available in limited numbers, has a range of 370 kilometers or 230 miles. Naval Strike Missile NSM, developed by Norway-based Kongsberg Gruppen and U.S. missile maker Raytheon, which is expected to arm the littoral combat ship of the U.S. Navy, has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers. None of these are supersonic missiles. The other option is SM-6 missile present in Aegis-enabled Ticonderoga-class cruiser and Arleigh Burke destroyers. Though it's primarily a ballistic missile interceptor, it has a secondary anti-ship capability. SM-6 is a supersonic missile capable of Mach 3.5 speed but can travel 150 mile or 240 kilometers and is outranged by Russian missiles. Russian economic slowdown has meant that many defense projects have been delayed. If Russia can actually manage to manufacture 15 to 30 of the Admiral Gorshkov class, then it will considerably improve the Russian Navy's warfighting capability. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.